I want to apologize first of all if you are annoyed with all of the background music and sound that you can hear. It's a super sunny Sunday evening while I'm recording this and all the neighbors and the kids and everyone are out. I think there was a football match earlier as well so there was a lot of noise and there still is a lot of noise. I have all of my windows open because it's so hot. I will melt otherwise so I apologize in advance if that's distracting you but I really hope you enjoy the rest of the video. I was so naive when I thought that I could make a minimalistic postpartum wardrobe work for me two months ago when I filmed everything while I was organizing my existing wardrobe. It was a fail. <laughs> There's no spoiler there at all. This was like two weeks before I was due. I sorted out my entire wardrobe, took away all of the clothes that was not going to work postpartum and that wasn't going to work for nursing as well. And I only kept some of the clothes that I thought would help for both. Um, Two months later, I didn't like any of it. I, I'm just not happy with what I have and the weather has changed drastically. So whatever I have isn't going to work. While you're nursing, there are several ways that you can go about it with the kind of clothes that you wear. First of all, you can wear two layers. You have a vest inside and then like a top or blouse or whatever it is on top. So when you're nursing your baby, you just pull up the top layer and then you're not fully exposed while you're feeding. And the second type is what I'm wearing now, button up tops which is super easy, super convenient. I've tried both and I didn't like the two layer at all. It's just so hot now, it's summer already and it's so hot. Two layers is not gonna work at all here in the UK at the moment. And I didn't like the idea of pulling up the top and bunching it up and everything. It's just, it wasn't convenient and I didn't like it at all. So button up tops is the only thing. And the kind of button up tops that I have in my wardrobe are the ones that I'm wearing at the moment. This is actually a maternity dress that I've put on a belt so that it's not super huge. So it's the button up ones and these kind of collars. I only have like four or five maybe tops and dresses like this. All of my button up tops and dresses are the ones with these kind of manly collars. I just got bored of it and I didn't like it. And it was all long sleeve and thick and warm. It just, yeah, I got bored. That's it. I got bored wearing the same thing. I didn't want to spend too much money buying a whole new wardrobe because postpartum body is ever changing. I'm usually a size 6. At the moment, I am slightly overflowing from a size 8 um, and I'm not fully a size 10 as yet. I don't want to buy size 10 clothes and I don't want to buy size 8 clothes that is really tight, you know? So it, it just doesn't make sense to do that at all. I didn't feel confident in my existing clothes that I was wearing. I didn't like it, it got too warm, it was just super thick and it was all long sleeve. It sounds like a typical British problem, but while you're living in the UK, everything is dependent on the weather. You cannot dress up however you want. You have to dress up according to the weather. And because summer is only for three months, or probably a week, two weeks, you never know with the UK how it is. But summer is a very short period of time and you can't wear summer clothes over autumn or winter or even spring, you know. I didn't want to spend a lot of money buying summer clothes. And all of the clothes that I looked at in the high street shops are either expensive or not really the style that I want. Everything has collars like this or it's thin and you have to wear another layer, which is what I was trying to avoid in the first place you know. So the next best option I had was Sheen. I have shopped in Sheen before, probably a few years ago maybe and then I kind of gave up because the size and the material wasn't what I was looking for. And at that time when I bought it, they didn't have a good return policy at all. You had to pay to return it or maybe some of the clothes didn't even have returns. I just gave up on Sheen because I didn't like it or it didn't work for me at that point. But now, I had no other choice and they've changed their return policy. They actually have a free return policy and I thought that's going to help. So I wanted to give it a go and look at a few other options. It's an online website that sells clothes. They don't have a physical store and it's from all over the world as well. Um, it's not necessarily from the UK at all. They have a lot of options, there's a lot of categories that you can go through and the best thing that always sells it with Shein is the discounts that they have. You have to pay for delivery if it's less than £35 but if it's more than that it's free delivery. If it's more than £100 then you get free express delivery. The website says that delivery will take about two weeks but you get your things much much earlier than that. I got my clothes delivered to me within a week. I ordered everything on a Sunday night and it came to me by Friday. She has very competitive prices and there are a lot of variety and option. The only difficulty with it is that the size is very different from a regular high street store. So you need to look at all 
of your measurements, you have to check everything before you actually buy it. You probably are a size S or M in a regular high street and you would need to size down with Sheen and that's what I normally do. So all of these clothes that you see behind me are the ones that I bought from Sheen and only Sheen. I've got 15 items here that I bought from Sheen. All of these cost about £101 after all of the discounts that I had. First of all, it was already a cheaper price. Secondly, there was some sort of a 50% or 20-30% on. And finally, there was another 30% off for any purchase above £100. So I think the total came out to £145-£150 odd. Ultimately, with all of the discounts, I paid £101 and I got free express delivery. I ordered on a Sunday and it came to me on a Friday while the website actually said that it will take two weeks, but it doesn't really take two weeks anymore. It comes really quickly. I will talk you through all of these clothes that I bought and I will show you close-ups of it as well. I'll also talk you through the material and the sizes and the ones that I'm going to return and why I'm going to return it. I calculated and on average I would have spent about £6 or less than £7 per item which is really really good. So even if the quality is not all that great, I wouldn't mind it because it's only a short term and the price is not so expensive. When it comes to returns, they actually offer you free returns for the first item. So if you have a few items that you want to return, you might as well process the returns all together. Any other returns that you process after that, you have to pay £2.50 for each item. The idea with all of these clothes is that I need something which is button up, not manly collar preferably and I also wanted something which I can easily wear and use for nursing and postpartum which means I didn't want really really fitting ones. I wanted something which was comfortable, loose and complementary to me at the moment as well and it's super hot here so I wanted short sleeve ones which I can wear um, you know towards summer. Out of these 15 pieces I've got three pajamas, eight tops and four dresses. All of them are S size which is size 8 and that's the smallest size that I could find on everything. I didn't really measure everything up and I know from the previous dresses that I bought I need to size them but because my size at the moment is a little bit uncertain I'm between 8 and 10 I thought it's fine it'll just work and also because it had free returns I was going to try everything and see whether it's going to work for me or not. There was only one one t-shirt that was um, M size that I took, I sized up because of the reviews. They said the top was running a size smaller so I sized it up and that's like a perfect fit for me at the moment. I start off with the pajamas first. I got two short sleeve pajamas and they come with shorts as well. It's obviously everything is a button up one and they come with shorts. This one is a silk one and this is like a mixed thing. I think it's a poly cotton um, nylon. I don't know what it is but it's very comfortable and it's nice to wear. Um, I don't really know what else to say, <laughs> it's just appropriate in these pyjamas. The other pyjama, very similar to the silk one that I have, but this one comes with the long pants. It's got pocket detail on it and it's all button up also. This is somewhat a silk polyester material, I think. The next one is this t-shirt. This is the one that I said I had to size up. I got a size M because it's running a bit tight. It's so comfortable and so easy to wear and it's button up in the front and I like t-shirts nowadays it's like I've not really worn t-shirts in such a long time and this material is stretchable also so it is quite snug for me at the moment but I think as I wear it, it's going to expand a little bit this is another t-shirt I got and this is the only long sleeve t-shirt that I bought in this haul um, I got this t-shirt because I really liked this button detail and true to it, the button detail is actually really nice. The quality is good, it's easy to open and close and it's just nice. It's quite thin, so even if it is long sleeve, um, it's not really warm, you know, you can roll it up and it doesn't warm you up too much. I really like this top that I got, but Lakshman didn't like it at all and he wanted me to return it, but because I like it, I'm keeping it. The model looked so good wearing this, but when I wore it, the shoulder looked a little bit boxy, but the fitting was so good and it was really flowy. The neck pattern and the button looked really nice, so I wanted to keep it for a change, even if I wear it at home and not wearing it out. I don't mind it. I think it was 4 50 I don't remember the prices for all of these things, but I'll put the price on the screen for you. It was really cheap, okay? Ultimately, for that price, it was really cheap and I wasn't going to return it. The quality is nice also, and I've not got anything in the this color although I'm not a fan of pink I haven't got anything in this color and I just like the material this one is very different from my regular style 
it's got a knotted bottom here which is not something that I would wear. I've worn these things when I was in high school which is like donkeys years ago and I don't even want to count how many years and I've just completely stopped wearing those kind of style. I don't know why I maybe outgrew it but when I saw this the color looked really nice. Again it looked really nice on the model. It's a little bit loose for me. The sleeve is a little bit long but that's the idea of it you know it's meant to be loose fitting it's meant to be easy for summer and flowy. The sleeve is quite open so if you wanted to wear like a tube top inside you could or not necessary it's up to you however you want to do it. And it's got two pockets in the front. I'm usually not a fan of pockets at all but when it comes to clothing at the moment I'm not so picky anymore. I just want something different. I want something that looks nice and I want something that's comfortable for nursing. I've never had anything in this colour before and you wouldn't have ever caught me wearing anything like this in the past. I used to be so safe with all of my clothes. Whatever I buy it's either a like denim colour like this or black or you know um, neutral colours. It's just always basic stuff. I never experimented with colour or design or styles. This time, for some reason, the theme was just out of my comfort zone. So every style that you see is entirely different. It's not something that I've worn before. Maybe one or two is similar to what I have, but most of it, the color and the style is so different. And so is this. Such a bold color for me, but I kind of liked it. It's a bit loose and airy, but that's what it is. It's summer. I don't really care about shape at the moment. And the button is really good. The quality of this is so nice. This is another one that Lakshan didn't quite like because he said it was pale, but I liked it. I haven't got anything in this color. I liked the fitting. I liked how simple and sweet and elegant it looked. So I'm keeping it. This one's got like a Sailor Man collar. It's a bit daring for me, but it looked really nice on the model. That was a key theme, okay? Everything that I saw on the model looked really nice on them. So I thought I'm going to give it a go. This one needs a very good ironing because it creases up really, really easily. I've already ironed it and yet it's already creased up overnight now. It's got a different kind of collar which I've never had before. So yeah, why not? This material is slightly stiff, but it's very nice when you wear it on and it's really airy also. It looks as if it's sleeveless, but it's a cape sleeve sort of a thing. Um, most of the buttons I got are this style and I didn't really plan it that way but it just worked out like that. I like the idea of having tops that is button up and it doesn't have any collar. This is really open and it's so nice. I'm just fed up of wearing these kind of collars and this one is like a refreshing change. So most of the tops I got um, are like this and I haven't seen these kind of things in the high street store at all. Having said that, this is the last piece of tops that I bought and the next one is going to be dresses. I have very specific choices when it comes to colour. I usually prefer white, black or neutral colours. I normally go for blue, sometimes pink but not so much at all. I do not like green so I avoid green as much as possible. But having said that, I bought this. <laughs> this is a bit of an impulse purchase for me. When I tried it on, I liked it. I like the cutting, I like the neck, I like the flow of it, the material. It looks so good, it's so easy to wear and it's so comfortable. But the colour is not what I really expected. It didn't look like this on the website, you know. But when I see it, it's a bit too bright for my liking. I would have liked a more muted green or a more pastel kind of a green. I was a bit reluctant, but I decided I'm still going to keep it. I just want to see how comfortable I am wearing this colour. But the dress is really comfortable, so even if I'm not comfortable wearing it outside to maybe, you know, some sort of an outing to meet other people, I'm just going to be able to wear it at home. This is a very, very sweet dress. Um, it's a little bit tight for me. I could have sized up on this, but I didn't. I don't want to return it and order another one, so I'm just going to keep it, hoping that I will lose a little bit more weight so that it looks nice. But otherwise, this part cinches at your waist, so it kind of gives you a good shape. It's a very nice height, such a summery flowy dress and it looks really really nice. It's got buttons here and it's got a tie also. I might want to remove this tie or shorten it. I don't know how it's going to be like when Levi grows up, you know, I don't want him to be tugging this in the next couple of weeks or months maybe. Uh, and I don't want it to be inconvenient for him or, you know, kind of disturbing him. So I'll see how it goes, but you know, the sleeve, the length, everything is really nice. The reviews on this dress were so good and I liked it also. When I tried it on, the shape is so good, the fitting is so good. The colour looked a little bit muted and made me look a little bit dull. But I am returning this because these buttons here, it's not an actual button, it's just a button detail which defeats the entire purpose of buying these dresses. So 
I have no other choice but to return it but otherwise I really like it and it's so good. It's got this elastic waist here and the final one is this dress. It looks so sweet in the picture. It actually looked nice when I wore it. Slightly longer for my liking. I am 5 feet tall so I can't wear anything midi length. It makes me look really short. I need something which is like just knee length or maybe a full length or maybe even shorter than knee length you know this is slightly below knee length but this is not really working for me not just because of the length but because of the material and the fitting it doesn't really fit me well the pattern and the material reminded me of a tablecloth uh, that's one of the reasons why I want to return it as well so this is definitely going back these are the only two things that I'm returning from all of these clothes that I've bought which I think is a very good deal. The sizes are okay on everything. It's loose, that's a smaller size, but that was my intention, that's what I wanted. If you are super small, if you're extra small in regular high street, then none of these things are going to work for you. It's best that you check all of the measurement on the website before you order anything. Quality of the clothes from Sheen can be a bit of a hit and miss sometimes, but for the price range that they have, you really can't ask for much, can you? And most of these clothes are all season. You only wear it a few times for within three months, and then you have to either get rid of it or rotate it and keep it for next year. And I have a feeling all of these things, even if I wash it multiple times, it's still going to last me for another year or two at least. But for the price that I've paid for these things, I'm more than happy to donate it and rotate it that way. Because I've got so many items for £100, I wouldn't feel the pinch as much as I would have had I bought things from High Street here. I hope you got some ideas and inspiration from this video for any nursing friendly or mom friendly clothes if you are on the hunt for it. Think about your style, think about what kind of clothes is going to work for you. For me, being out of my comfort zone appeared to be the theme in this haul and it looks like it worked as well. I like everything. I mean, returning two items from 15 items is such a good deal. Sometimes it's good to go out of your comfort zone. It's good to explore a lot more options like colors and styles and fashion and everything. That's all I have for you in today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to let me know and also be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video again next week. Bye!